so I thought it will be the best if I start from from the end. Uh, so first I'll, I'll show you how this method of adjusting volume envelope automation works. So take a look at my screen. Um, this is a volume envelope on, uh, on a track and it can be of course any track. In this case this is a master track of my session. Uh, it's a pre-FX volume so it's before the plugins. And I have, uh, I have two buttons on my Stream Deck controller which is volume envelope up and volume envelope down. Wherever I click on my volume envelope lane uh, I will be able to adjust that part of uh, volume automation like this. So I just click and what it will do it will just adjust the the line the automation envelope line up and down um, and it will be looking at the nearest automation points it will select them and it will move them up or down depending on uh, the action of my choice let's see how it actually is being set up in the custom action section volume envelope down uh, edit action and there is a custom action select the nearest points so I've already told you about that, that this action selects the nearest points from the edit cursor and we will go into the custom action select nearest points in a second and then there is a SWS action decrease selected envelope points by half a dB volume envelope only Let's take a look at the select nearest points, uh, select nearest points action. And this is it, as an Accus SWS store edit cursor position. Now, uh, this one is important, unselect all points, because we don't want any automation points to be selected at that uh, particular moment in time. Then the next action is move edit cursor 64th node to the right and this is because sometimes um, I noticed that it was um, the next action actually uh, was catching the wrong automation point. So this, this is related to the next step. Move edit cursor to next envelope point and add that point to the selection um, and later there is move edit cursor to previous envelope point and add to selection which means that actually these two steps are the steps that add our two nearest points to, to our selection and then there is recall edit cursor position which goes back to the start of our custom action so it keeps the, the edit cursor in the place where it was at first in the beginning because as you can see the other two actions were actually moving the edit cursor so again I will show you how it actually reacts so you can see um, it, it also works during the playback so right now the session is running it is playing back and I can easily adjust different parts of the session including this part of the session that is currently being played and right now I would be actually hearing the changes which is important I would be assessing if this volume jump is doing the the volume push that I was expecting and if it didn't I would just you know adjust that for for example like like this uh, and I would rerun the playback from from that particular point to see if it's uh, better now and maybe I would notice that mm, now it was better before so I would then again click here and go back listen again etc and this is how I have been editing automation for quite some time now it actually you know brings my efficiency up 
quite a lot compared to to all the other methods I I have tried over the course of many years. With half dB steps controlled by buttons, it is kind of more precise when you just you know know that pressing the button three times it gets you um, one and a half dB step um, up or down. This is so much better than what I've experienced over uh, 13 years of working in Portals HD, which was my main DW yeah, for 13 years. And I was uh, working on a D command console in order to be able to use all the um, preview capture snapshot automation system, which was great in Portals, but uh, automation in Reaper is just better in my opinion and in my workflow. It just gets me faster to where I want to be with all my mixes. Um, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say about that, so let me know if I missed anything. And I'll, I'll, I try to keep those videos as short as possible because I tend to talk too much. I'll see you next time. Take care, and I'm super happy that you've watched this. I'll see you in the next video. You will see me, and take care. Until the next video, bye.